CJ, at what point did you guys just realize that Rink was on one tonight and you just got to keep feeding? Shoot. Once he hit that, before he hit that step back three in the first half, I was like, yeah, he got it going. And it just kind of went from there. He was super steady throughout the whole game. You know, it was just his attack. And, of course, he's, you know, he's, he's solid as heck on defense. So he just impacted the game completely today. So. Your coach said, had mentioned that the last couple of days he'd kind of seen you look a little different just physically, more bounce in your step. He mentioned the, the jump testing that you guys are doing. You uh, were putting up bigger numbers since December. Uh, have you kind of felt rejuvenated or, or a little bit with the way that they've kind of limited um, your workload in practice? I mean, we tried a couple different things with the knee. Uh, it's still a day-to-day -day thing. So apparently whatever we're doing right now is working. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to the athletic trainer and we'll keep doing what we're doing right now. Uh, but it's just really been a day-to-day -day thing. And um, honestly, uh, when Coach Horberg, like what he mentioned about the jump test, that those jumps didn't feel like special or anything. But for some reason, the, the, te like, the numbers were very good. So I guess that's a good sign when... When I don't expect to be like moving well, but I'm actually moving well, that's, that's good. So day-to-day -day thing, but whatever we're doing right now is working. Frank, when, did when, you, uh, when did you know you were in the zone, and how does that affect how you play when you're hitting everything the way you were tonight? Uh, I mean, like CJ said, when I hit that step back, like, I mean, you don't hit that one that often. I was kind of mad at myself for shooting it, cause, but I was just not thinking, and it just shot it, and it went in. And then you kind of know, oh, it's one of those days. <laughs> Everybody, like all, all basketball players, I think we all know when, like you sometimes have those days where like the, the rim looks like an ocean and whatever you throw up goes in. Okay. And unfortunately, I don't have those days that often. So, I mean, once you have them, it's, it's pretty fun. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I don't expect to shoot the exact same percentage uh, in the next game, but uh, this does give a, give a lot of confidence. Is there ever a time in any competition where you've made six three-pointers before? In practice. <laughs> um, trying to remember. I, know, I, I had a night like this for my pro team when I was like 16 or 17, and I think I hit like five that night. But it was, that was the same feeling where whatever you throw up there is just going in. Um, but mostly in practice, this was, this was pretty special to actually do in a, in a real game. You guys were up 10 to start the second half, and they cut that lead down to three. CJ checks in and hits two corner threes to get the game back mm -hmm. under control. Just not just this game, but the entire season. How valuable has he been as that spark off the bench to kind of get things going when you hit a bit of a lull? Oh, he's been he's been huge. Um, whenever he comes in, I, I like I'm looking for him always. He's been enormous, just bringing that spark. And when, whenever we need a three or even a good play, like he's been very solid with using his shot fake and getting to the rim and even getting other guys open. Um, I mean, if you have something like that off the bench, that just adds so much depth to your to your whole offense. And I mean, the spotlight was on me today, but I mean, CJ was phenomenal today too. Appreciate it. Rick, how much do you think your six threes would maybe open things up going forward, scouting report and stuff from other teams? Um, I mean, we've been seeing it a little bit. They've they've been putting the four more on me so that they can switch more of our actions. Um, I mean, I'm expecting that that's gonna keep going where they can switch it so I don't have easy pops. Um, but I mean, after after a night like t tonight, they're going to scout it even heavier. So it's going to be tough to get open looks. But I mean, if they're that much, if there's that much pressure on me, then other guys are going to be open. So I mean, next game, somebody else can step up and have a huge game. That's the kind of team we have. Everybody can have big, have a big night. CJ, Coach talked about how big these two home wins were, especially after how Iowa and Rutgers went. How's the feeling in the locker room about regaining that momentum, getting two big wins? I mean, it's exciting, you know. Um, we get a chance to go on the road and um, go plus one in our conference, which is what we need, which is what we were trying to do. Um, we had several opportunities to do so. And, you know, it's, it's, these two wins give us a little bit of momentum and give, a little, give us a little bit of oomph going into that um, road game, which is where we've been struggling a little bit, so. Jay, uh, just knowing what uh, Rank has been through this season, just how happy are you for him that he had a game like? Tomorrow? I was just, I was just telling my girlfriend about him, man. He's one of the most positive dudes I know, just from a standpoint of like what he's been through, as you guys obviously know. Um, 
before the season started, the beginning of the season, and then having to go through surgery. He's been smiling through it all. So he's somebody I, I look at just to try to just keep my hopes up. You know what I mean? Like um, whenever something maybe necess- not necessarily going the way I wanted to, you know what I mean? He's super positive. So so definitely somebody I learned from for sure. I guess you scored a lot of points, made a lot of three pointers, but you won the rebounding margin and you only committed six turnovers. How critical were those two? components beyond just making a bunch of threes to your success tonight? I think that's ultimately what the game plan was, you know, um, not turning it over and rebounding the ball. You know, um, what were we, 11 and 0 when we win the boards? Something like that. Something like that. So, um, yeah, seeing on the scouting report, yeah. we saw that they're a very, very good rebounding team. Um, knowing from our past, we have not, in Big Ten play, we've not been rebounding it that well. Uh, last game we did a very good job, and um, we we've been saying it in practice all the time. Um, we got to keep that going, so we we did that again today. Won the boards, and you know, if you win the boards in the Big Ten, you set yourself up for success. To that point, um, what, what do you have to do against a team like Ohio State that's big that rebounds well? What do you have to do to counter that and win the boards like you did tonight? Um, I mean, what me and Joe talk about is, like, we got to keep their big fellas off the glass. And then I tell my guards, like, hey, I'm going to keep this this big fella off the board. You guys got to come and actually grab the rebound. I don't, I don't have to get the rebound. Just somebody get the rebound. So just those guards getting in there and also getting boards has been huge. And I also think it's um, the team being connected, you know, just a connected team. You know, I think, because as he said, he should he shouldn't have to tell us that we should have to smash down. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just understanding that they they fight down there, we have to smash down, or even look in the box out. That's something we've been talking about a lot lately. And um, so I, I added to uh, being connected as a team. Rick, I know you had a couple battle scars there. Um, it's the second game in a row you've had a timeout because of an injury with with your arm. But just for just in general. Can you just say about the physicality of the Big Ten with being your first year here? Somebody got to got to cut their fingernails. <laughs> um, I mean, as as big man, it's I'm kind of used to it. My elbow is kind of annoying now, but um, I, we got a couple days, so I hope that it heals well enough. That um, I think today when I dove on the ground, that the, some scarring opened up again. Um, it's it's part of the game. It's, it really is part of the game, so, it, yeah. Rick, CJ talked about it, but just, you know, with everything you've been through, the surgery, some off-the-court stuff, to have a game like this and the growth you've had in this program, you know, what does a night like tonight mean to you? Um, I mean, it's fun. You, but at the end of the day, we win one game. Uh, we took care of business at home. I played great, good, but... I, I want to emphasize it to everybody. Like we got to move on to the next one, and we got to actually get a road win now. That's our next next goal. Like this game, got to win, protect the home. Let's get on, go on the road, and get one. Word. Get a win on the road. Let's go. Thank you guys. Appreciate you guys. Thanks, guys. Mm-hmm. God bless. Those pants. Yeah. See? <laughs> See? Yeah. Told you. See?